Hey Deborah, so you can hear me well? I hope you can. I'm here uh, spinning some guide log, uh, which was actually given to me by someone. They weren't lazy. I, I have a feeling they are um, low heavy yet. A nice faithful save. I'm doing good. Uh, I don't know if you saw my Facebook post uh, early last week uh, or end of the week before that. Uh, that my hard drive had crashed so i've been dealing with getting things up and running plus uh installing all the software stuff fortunately i didn't lose anything back so that was good. but um i did however lose some of my software programs and stuff which is actually installing the hard drive uh, I did have all my data on my other drive, which was fine, so that was good. But my programs and stuff were coming in due to the run, which is where the problems are updated. So, that's uh, the last thing I wanted to check was whether my OBS was there, and of course, my OBS is gone. And what was worse was all my settings on OBS, like, you know, my camera angles and my camera settings and the text and all the links to connecting to Facebook and Twitch and all that stuff. It's like I have to set it all up again this time around. So, it wasn't too bad and I think it's working. So, if you can see me, I hope you can. you can see what I have with me is just a cloud of logs. Uh, they are also kind of compacted a little bit, uh, but you know, they are drafted on fine. And I'm just code spinning them, and I think I'm going to fly them afterwards to see if those logs open up. I might do an auto or something. But Really compact and hard to grab. I'm a little chunky here and there, but it's fine. But yeah, see if it's nothing chunky. And I'm not trying to straighten up the lock structure, I'm letting the uh, spirals just be, the locks hang out. I'm hoping when I fly it up, those locks will open up. They should, in theory. I probably should do a test before doing all of this, but sometimes it's just best to just do that.
voice really mad. Okay, now is that better? I'm trying to listen on my phone and see if it is any better now. I'm trying to listen on my phone. Yeah, this sounds better. So if you cannot hear me properly, let me know. Hope you can hear me. My audio settings were not set up properly, so hopefully now that is fine. Some of them is compacted too much, but it does draft out eventually. So it's not felted, it's just compacted. But uh, it's working out fine, at least for the kind of yarn I think this would make. It's kind of making that kind of yarn. So, And I have usually just spun out of um, uh, art bats. Uh, but you really can core spin with art pads, you can core spin with locks, you can core spin without a core, that's coreless core spinning, but um, you can spin with a top, I have done that, and actually I kind of like, if you want to make like a thick bulky yarn without using too much of your precious fiber, it's kind of a nice idea to core spin it over a thick core. Just take the top and you can even get the colors to be placed where they are exactly. And that makes a very neat looking yarn. I think I'm at the very end of this fiber fluff. I have some bits on the floor. I'm going to catch them and put them on. And then I'll go ahead and ply this thing. is I'm going to uh, ply this up with auto wrap I think and, um, and I want to do it in Irish tension so I will be swapping the motor out so you can kind of see that as well um, this wasn't meant to be a demo thing today but apparently that's where it's headed so it's fine Okay, so first to remove the bobbin, just removing the drive belt here, and my tension knob there. Just pop that guy out. There we go. Hey Sue, nice to see you too. Uh, let me know if you can hear me, or uh, I'm having some audio issues, so I'm trying to figure out if 
people can actually hear me or not. Okay. Fresh new bobbin in here. Uh, but before I put the bobbin on, I want to change this to Irish tension, which is as simple as taking the motor and flipping it around and the band will go in the front which I probably don't use you can hear me well oh that's good to know thank you so much for letting me know Oops. one thing I forgot is I need to move my right band at the back now because it's gonna be bobbin driven now We're all set. I just need to check whether my motor is in the right position. I just need to slide it over a little bit. Further. There we go. So now it can rotate freely there. Julian. Yes, it is a, it's a great wheel and especially with the size of bobbins and the capability of switching from, you know, your regular Scotch tension to Irish tension for plying, it's really amazing. Oh, Cindy, it's hard to hear me. Uh, let me know if this is better. I was kind of mumbling when I was uh, changing the bobbins. Sorry about that. But hopefully. Yeah, so now I am going to be plying. I'm going to use my Acreworks bobbins because fortunately they can hold these big jumbo bobbins. I do like to keep uh, one of those felt washers at the bottom so that and this is this is what I was core spinning and I'm going to be applying this up so Hawkins says I'm coming late to the magpie but it is so tempting just watching you work well it's a great wheel honestly and it uh, I did take it to Fiber Fusion, the show I did last uh, weekend, and what was surprising to most people was like how lightweight it is, because you know with one hand you can carry it easily. This it's so lightweight with carbon fiber, and it's very sturdy. So it is definitely a good wheel to have. Okay, I have this really crazy bright purpley sparkle uh, yarn which I'll use as an auto wrap while I do my plying just need to set up things a little bit find the end of my cone there we go that's the thing with these sparkly yarns they are just so fine and a tangled mess sometimes. Okay, I think we got it. Yes, it is very. Uh, Cindy asks, why do I apply with Irish tension? So, Irish tension just gives me a much stronger take up. Uh, with textured yarns and everything, I found it really helps. Means I can really increase the scotch tension and have it go that way as well. But I have just found it easier to be with uh, Irish tension. Uh, especially when I'm plying these textured yarns. I actually even did ply my sweater spin uh, recently on the Magpie. And I did it with Irish tension. 
it was just so much easier like i wasn't struggling to you know increase my take up when the bobbin was filling up it was a pretty nice breeze so what i have here is a cotton ply thread and i'm just going to get my leader thread don't laugh but i like to use very long leaders and when a wheel is this big a long leader does help and you know nice inbuilt hook which is always nice so that you're not looking for it every time and i don't need to change the direction of the wheel because once you go in the eye extension and put every uh, the motor is on the other end the wheel will go anti-clockwise so the setting on the controller doesn't need to be changed i'm not plugged in so now let's see vibration let me see when that's happening it's, i wish i had uh i have a very lightweight table on this um i do wish i had a strong you know sturdier table because the wheel is pretty sturdy it's my table that's wobbly but it's not too bad feet on the ground so that's good okay ply thread goes on and so does my yarn so i'm going to take those two and also even take my auto wrap at this point and tie that up as well okay all three of them joined up together tied up with a square knot there we go yeah the auto wrap thread is so fine you can barely see it but it'll be fine hopefully those locks really pop out at this point i don't know if the auto wrap is even doing anything interesting but let's stop and see it's not bad i'm getting like a nice purple sparkle going on there but this is what i was talking about you know the locks are now really popping out um let me show you there we go so the locks are popping out and it's like a nice spiral and in case the locks do tend to just fall off the core i think the auto wrap will kind of help and i'm letting the auto wrap just go free in here rather than uh, you know controlling it because you can you can control your auto wrap to be extremely um extremely like you know controlled and like be precisely where you want it uh, sometimes I like that but not necessarily all the time now see when it's an Irish tension it just takes the yarn in a lot easier I 
one of my locks popped out. Uh -huh. It didn't pop out, but it, it's kind of like misbehaving a little bit, which happens. There we go. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to I'm going to control my uh, auto wrap now and let it not just fly around freely. It might not even be visible much because of that. Let's see. Yeah, when I do it that way, it doesn't even matter. I, I think the auto wrap is definitely not adding much to this. So I'm just going to break it off. You can change your mind in the middle of your spinning. It's absolutely fine to do that. Like the auto wrap kind of looks like a big jumbled mess. And I kind of don't like that. I like things to be certain amount of neatness to them. And I think this will be better just without the auto wrap. Yeah, keeping it simple. Yeah, I like this much better. was a big lump of fiber up there. <laughs> Let's just assist that a little bit further. I'm going to increase uh, tension a little bit here. bobbins can really take a lot of yarn, which is nice. You can have big jumbo skeins of art yarn. I should be better about moving my, but you can see I'm getting a nice spiral and the way the locks are popping out.
almost done. Spinning bulky fiber. It doesn't take too much. Sue Hopkins says the yarn is beautiful. Dave, is it possible to add a feature similar to the woolly winder that will automatically move uh, the yarn along the bobbin? Well, that's a question for Dave, I think. And I'm not Dave. I'm Charan. So, Dave will have to probably add that feature if necessary. I think what uh, things like, you know, a woolly winder and stuff add to the wheel is a lot of weight. To the flyer and that might be an issue when it comes to you know uh, the spinning wheels that Dave makes uh, because they are so fast oh Dave is here that's good yes definitely anything you know out of market and stuff will um, void the warranty but uh, I think her question was maybe related to if Dave could design something to go on the flyer there we go we are all done so I don't know if you can see a close up is it focusing well I think my camera is also not or maybe the yarn is just all cloudy and crazy so but you can see the yarn oh you know what I'm going to do I'm going to use my new nitty naughty so at the last show I got um, a spin illusion uh, nitty naughty specifically for art yarns because the, I had an Ashford one which does not stay in place but this one it kind of clicks in place so that was nice it stays it is a little bit bulky but it does fold completely flat two pieces and it has this lock mechanism here uh, so you know that's how it slides in and out but it stays in place and I've never seen this style before so I was pretty excited about it and so I've seen the flat pack ones and all of that but none that were you know I just want to remove the dry band so it's easy to wind the yarn on this thing Trying to look at too many things while doing this. Yeah, I'm definitely. Uh, this is all the part without the auto wrap. I'm not the fan of the auto wrap on this particular yarn. It didn't add to anything. I'm trying to see when the auto wrap starts, and I want to. That. yeah it's a pretty good design um, I was looking for something which I could you know carry along with so I'm going to stop here because this is where my auto wrap starts and this is right here let's cut that there I'll just make that into another yarn doesn't need to have uh, the auto wrap in it at all but this is what it essentially looks like and I think plying it again uh, you know really opened up those locks and gave it that lovely cloudy structure uh, one thing I also like in this nitty naughty is let me just go ahead and tuck this end in. I need to shift my camera around. But it has a handle on this side so I can hold my nitty naughty this way to show you. 
how it looks like. So, see it has a handle on both ends. So, lots of yaminas. This would be great for weaving, I believe. That's how I would use a yarn like this. But, look at this side of it. Very delicious. Yum indeed. So, <laughs> uh, no, this is not an Ashford. This is a spin illusion. Nitty naughty. There we go. It's a spin illusion one. It is thick. It's not like, you know, skinny. Uh, but it does fold completely flat. <laughs> Auto, I said nitty naughty. <laughs> Oh, I, sometimes, you know, the things it translates is pretty hilarious. But, uh, but yeah, I, I do like it for art yarns. I think it's a good one to use for art yarns at least. It is, again, a little bit on the heavier side. So it's not super lightweight. But it's also nice and sturdy when, you know, you want to wind on these really bulky yarns. And I think it's a two-yard um two yard length one so that's pretty neat too so you get a pretty decent size uh bobbin out of it and you saw i could just wind it off from the wheel so i'm going to keep that aside probably take some pictures with my new nitty naughty on it my new my new yarn and this is the auto wrap one that i did which I will just wind off and keep here. Cindy says, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. I, I did enjoy the spin and uh, I like the resulting yarn from it. So that's the thing with the square knot. You know, if I just pull my leader straight, I can just slide my yarn off and I don't need to cut my leader off. It makes a clean join at the end of my yarn as well. This can be used for fun yarn. How is it for non art yarns? I I haven't tested it. Yeah, I think it'll work fine. I just think when it's a non art yarn, uh, there is generally a lot more yardage that you are you know winding on the nitty naughty, and um, it's because this is a heavier uh, one with the weight of the yarn and you're winding back and forth i think it's going to get tiring on the arms so that's the reason why i think it's probably good for you know short yardage yardage um for bulky yarns like essentially art yarns so that you know it it doesn't take too much because it's it's not lightweight compared to some it's it is lightweight in general but you know it's it's exactly what I needed for my purpose of art yarns. Because my Ashford doesn't hold too well for art yarns. Uh, what happened with my Ashford is that, you know, the ends, they kind of just, you know, push in. But uh, there is absolutely no grip left in them. And I don't even know. I, I can get it away. Okay. So this is the Ashford one I have. This is definitely lightweight. Again, you know, it does have a smaller footprint. It was a great travel one. But the thing is, it's like these things now no longer stay in place. And what I do is usually, you can always find a fluff of fiber in the end out here because I stuff that in and then put this in. And that way it does stay in place. But it's always like a fuss, like now even the other end has gotten really loose. And sometimes that twists when I'm winding bulkier yarns and that becomes an issue. So this one, because it locks in place like that, I really liked it. So this was the first time I used it for winding the yarn and I, I liked it for that purpose. Here is another example of... Um, art yarn that I spiral, I core spun at fiber fusion and then I also did some thick and thin as a demo. I was doing that at fiber fusion. I did some silver colored auto wrap out here and uh, this was a fun spin. I still need to finish the bat. 
I've not completed the bag, but I really wanted to just use up this fluff of fiber I had lying around and make something from it. So, so that's one way to or spin. You don't need an art bat or anything. You can just dye some fibers and do that. Yes, that's definitely my colors. The colors are not coming true on here. Like it's looking so orange. It's it's actually all coral in color. It's a very peachy coral. It's not. It has some orange in it, but it's not like orange on the wheel. Like it's almost matching. It's a very reddish orange on the camera. I need to fix my color settings on OBS as well. After my hard drive crash, it's been like everything feels like it's so weird. Whatever I'm looking at, the colors are not right. The settings are not right for the camera and but slowly coming around. So uh, I'm glad you all could join me for the live. If you have any questions, feel free to ask if dave was in the room and chatting and dave can answer those questions for you uh, i hope he will but yeah regarding woolly winder i think that's what the deal is that um, you don't want to use another manufacturer's woolly winder on the daedalus wheels you will forgo your warranty and then um, as far as dave designing something that is up to dave <laughs> and and his genius ideas on what he wants to do. So I look forward to seeing if he comes up with something. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Bye.